Geometry Dash. It's a game that everybody has heard of, if not played. Not only has the app been chart topping on both iTunes and the Google Play Store for more than two years now, but its fan base continues to grow every single day. But what if Geometry Dash never existed? What if RobTop never released the game and it was never put onto the App Store at all? That is what we are going to be taking a look at in this episode of GD Theories. Well, let's start at the basics and work our way out. Geometry Dash was released in August 2013. Only did the game really take off about a year later when the level editor became a core feature into Geometry Dash. By February 2014, the game was flourishing at number one and number two on the App Store, consistently remaining on those spots. But if Geometry Dash never came out in the first place, what would replace it? Had Geometry Dash never become number one, the number two game, which at the time was Temple Run 2, would have been the number one game and received all of the fame Geometry Dash had. So then it is safe to assume we'd see new content creators like Temple Run Viperin or Etzer underscore TR2. We'd also see YouTubers like Mika devoting their entire channel to future changes and update Temple Run 2.1, and people would upload their every play runs and high scores to YouTube. But of course this is only the beginning. This is merely looking at what games would replace Geometry Dash for people to play. Geometry Dash was much more expansive than just its spot on the App Store. There were plenty of other places that Geometry Dash reached. For instance, YouTubers like Souls TRK, Guitar Hero Styles, and Bycraft would have never gained hundreds of thousands of subscribers without Geometry Dash's existence. So, if Geometry Dash didn't exist, it is safe to assume that Souls, Guitar, and Bycraft wouldn't exist. And thus, the entire Spanish language wouldn't exist. The words hola, adios, every single Spanish word would be wiped from Spanish history. Without these three internet icons speaking Spanish and introducing it to the rest of the world, Spanish wouldn't kick off as a major world language and would instead fade into some gibberish video game language that no one understood. Moving on, Geometry Dash's non-existence would have even greater consequences than language. What would happen to Geometry Dash YouTubers and creators? YouTube channels like Eric Van Wilderman, Michigan, and Andromeda might not exist or would be unsuccessful. Without their YouTube channels existing, it is very possible that they might not exist either. Without the release of Geometry Dash and the positive voodoo it emits, we can likely assume that a small tornado of rabid cows would hit every famous Geometry Dash's player's house and wipe them off the timeline. Eric Van Wilderman, killed by rabid cows. Michigan, killed by rabid cows. All thanks to the lack of good voodoo. So thus we can assume that Geometry Dash players don't exist. And if players don't exist, it goes a lot further than that. Let's assume that one famous Geometry Dash player, say Riot, never existed. We can then from there likely assume that any other effects Riot had on the people surrounding him would also disappear. Let's say Riot helped an old lady cross the street. Without him alive, we can likely assume that that old lady would also not exist. And without that old lady existing, it is safe to assume that the lives she affected would not exist either. Maybe she helped two old men cross the street. They wouldn't exist, and the old ladies that the old men helped wouldn't exist, and the... Uh, you get the point. As we zoom out further and further, we can likely assume that the entire human race would not exist if it weren't for people like Riot, or Guitar Hero Styles, or Mika. And as dominoes continue to topple, we can likely assume that everything in the universe wouldn't exist thanks to this same logic. Which brings me to the end, the final thing that Geometry Dash's existence would alter. So far we've determined that Temple Run 2 would become the new Smash It game, the entire Spanish language wouldn't exist, and Geometry Dash disappearing would wipe the timeline, leaving an empty universe in its wake. But that brings us to our final conclusion, the one piece we were missing all along. Despite the absence of life, of language, of atoms, of matter, of energy, of anything. Thanks, of course, to the destruction of the universe, only one thing would remain. While everything else was erased, one game, one scrap, would persevere and maintain its spot in the universe. And that game... is Boomlings. <laughs> this is the only thing left in the universe, no one would play it still, it's so bad, Jesus. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video and I have a big announcement to make regarding my channel. Some of you may already know this if you follow my Twitter, Instagram, or are on my public Discord server, but I have a merch store that is live and running right now. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, all sizes, men and women. I would say the mugs come in men and women sizes too, but I don't think that's how mugs work. We've got three designs, the first one being the classic rainbow logo on a nice black background. Then we've just got more, more plain design, a solid black logo on some nice pastel colors. It looks really good. And finally, my favorite design is the Have You Sent It To Rob Top Yet t-shirt. It's a great way to tell your friends and fellow GD moderators that you will go to any lengths to get your level featured, including where a t-shirt saying it. The design looks great. It comes on a black hoodie, a black t-shirt, or a mug. We've already got lots of people getting these, so I really hope you'll pick up these as well. There's a link in the description to all of this merchandise. Go pick some up if you want to. One of the questions I've been getting a lot about the store is it says there might be three days left to purchase or two days left to purchase. Um, don't worry about that. That's just when the next production cycle starts. Uh, the store will remain up for the next year, two years. It's just how soon they'll be printing the next batch of shirts. So of course, link to that in the description. I am ever so grateful for all of the support you guys have been giving me. Thank you guys for watching. I've got more stuff coming in the future. GD Weekly is most likely becoming a more monthly series as I want to make more of these types of videos. I want to make more things to make you guys laugh. But for now, this is just me signing off. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.